I was trying to find uh, what you see here is like a national stamp of Thailand. Um, and so I was trying to find a news that was used in MK Ultra to trigger uh, my explanation on, on, on an issue as you see here. Uh, this kind of issue here that you see. Yeah. Um, this was maybe interesting issue that in MK Ultra. Uh, it also explains a lot about my mental state during MK Ultra. It's actually a rather really important stuff. And so I decided I am going to go ahead, emblem of Thailand, as you see right there, and I will go ahead and I am going to dedicate like a little video in respect to this national emblem of Thailand. Ah, look at that. Um, there was a lot of bad stuff that happened in Thailand. I already have wrote about that stuff, spoke about that stuff. Still, um, you know, when it comes to Thailand, Thailand Thailand is just a country, not even a, such a big country for Asia. It's a big country, sure it is. It's bigger than Germany and France. But still, this is not such a big country when you consider Asia. When you consider here, you have India, let's say with over a billion people, China with over a billion people, and so on. All these countries here, uh, they're densely populated country, countries. And if you look at it, if you pay attention to this, strange enough, I don't get plus and minus on none of my browsers. I have to reload page several times to it. Eventually, <laughs> okay. It can be Minamar too, why not? Okay, just as long as I have plus and minus here so that we can see. Uh, but it, anyhow, Minamar, I think it's time to remove that where it says Burma. I think it's it's kind of insultive for the people of the Minamar. Um, it's like this. You you have the countries here like Laos, you have Cambodia, you have Vietnam, and these are very Let's say Bangladesh, almost 200 million people. There's a lot of people in this country. It's a big country, actually. And what I want to say to you also, people in Myanmar, is that Thailand alone where you have Malaysia here, Thailand alone still struggles to survive. And um, economically not as strong as Malaysia. Uh, however, Thailand on this peninsula here that you see, Vietnam, Cambodia, Laos, Myanmar, is doing better than the countries in the area. In uh, Thailand as such is an important uh, contributor to economy in area. China has maybe the biggest GDP, maybe is as twice as much as average Thailand is. But Thailand here is like a bright, bright example. It's not easy. It's there is no oil, there's no gas. And uh, starting the two countries during MK Ultra, Thailand and Myanmar, it became obvious to me that Myanmar appeared to me, not to me, but to the people, to participants, the Myanmar appeared to me more because of the rivers they have. Therefore, 
this channels rivers that river system that they have and in my opinion this is why these two countries really really fit they really fit on a, together on a picture. This is it's a it's a really global situation the whole world is facing, you know. And Myanmar does have a water and waterways and stuff. And uh, Thailand has other resources. And when you make the combination, you get more. When you when you make a combination of the two. But so what I wanted to say in this video really is. Um, this was not only in Thailand. I'm not you know when I touched a little earlier this topic, this violence. This is not only in Thailand. This, this was everywhere, everywhere you look on the globe. Uh, Thailand is not European country. Thailand is not European country. Thailand is Asian country and. I am glad when Asia is doing well in, you know, Thailand, as I stated, is still a bright example here in this peninsula, uh, still is a major contributor. So for that main reason, uh, for its national awareness of King Maha, royals, Thai royals, they are well aware of their bringings, uh, heritage, where in this world they fit in on the picture, and how between China and India, uh, yeah, I would rather encourage neighboring governments to work together more. You know, I kind of came to realize that the more you work together, the better you all are going to be off with this global politic where security is I guess such a major major player and as much as you have together if you look your heritage uh, it's nothing to play with really um, but I still I'm gonna touch a very important subject here in this case so I did accent that as for King Maha, I don't have any kind of resentments that would uh, guide me toward international court or police or persecution and stuff like this and this and that. Uh, this is to advise European Union politicians and Germany, uh, all the countries in Europe, Britain. Britain is too corrupt. This is no, this is nothing to talk about. There. This is this is not even a country, basically. But uh, Germany and all other countries here in the area, European Union, United States of America, which naturalized citizen I became in 2000. That for me to steer tensions in Asian part of the world, this is like totally, totally out of any kind of consideration. It does not come into consideration of any kind. Now, so all these accounts I'm giving are just used to grant Asian royals uh, for the stated reason. You know, for the sake of, if you want solidarity, whatever, or just a total, total immunity from the international prosecution. I will not prosecute them. I don't care. There were politicians, Western politicians that instigated in all sorts of stuff. And you got a wrong person. Uh, I'm still European, but the truth is, despite my not being Western European, not by not being German or Italian, Dutch, British, French, Spaniard, Portuguese, before the countries that colonized the world. And I don't want to push everybody in this because I feel that Portuguese 
Spaniards, French, Italians don't fit on the same picture as Germans and British. And I think that over the course of the years, they learned uh, more about this whole picture, perception about one. Uh, still, as an Eastern European, even more so, I have to accent that I have no fucking right to go in this part of the world because I was hijacked by American in Central Intelligence Agency, CIA, uh, delivered here, paid by the British, financed by the British on behalf of Germans, which also Central Intelligence Agency, CIA, acted on their behalf, on behalf of Berlin, uh, to be beaten up to all kinds of stuff, surveillance, uh, espionage and stuff. I got no right whatsoever to go and start some kind of divide and conquer bullshit here. I have no right. I'm Eastern European, but I have no fucking right to go there and start anything. It just doesn't give me the right of any kind. This is very, very important for what you are to hear is coming. Why I'm stressing you this stuff? It's very, very, very important for me to stress you these things. It's very important. You can be a king of Thailand, but more important than Thailand for you is a situation is in Myanmar, in Cambodia, in Vietnam, and Laos, if you want to be king of, of Thailand. You understand? Because it's a regional thing, and for you to survive here means for other economies also to try, at least to center yourself, position yourself here. And that's exactly what King Maha does. He does a good job. He understands a lot. He understood much more uh, than what I initially thought. He was delivering me to Myanmar, to, uh, to Myanmar and to uh, Laos and so on. It was all kinds of shit that went on. Um, and... Well, you know, um, in final days, you know, in final days, it finally made sense to me, this whole thing, because he actually behaved, he displayed a sober, rational, uh, finally making sense character when he practically admitted what I stated, you know, that they kind of work regionally together, trying to coordinate, trying to make sense out of the whole thing. So that's why I'm saying that for me to go, especially because of this reason, for me to go against any of this is totally, totally out of uh, consideration. It doesn't, it doesn't come to, uh, it doesn't come to, it doesn't, it doesn't go with my agenda, this kind of stuff. This is not on my agenda. This is on, not on my list. Uh, I think that some politicians believe they're going to be even extorting through this. It's going to be extortions. That's what I think CIA did a lot. I think that Central Intelligence Agency extorted with my views, American citizen, and this and that, that, that. But, you know, behind it all, I was very, very clear about what to expect from American central intelligence and from American politics overall, what exactly what they are centered into, how they work and with whom, very unlikely, however, do partner. Yeah. So what I want to stress to you in this issue is I didn't get the video that I would demonstrate to you. Uh, but it was a picture like with the elephants and it looked like, uh, you know, like you would take hands and uh, like you would mimic your hand. Let me see if I can demonstrate this into like, hey, there is no, um... so I mentioned to you elephants, right? So. Maybe I can get this picture still, huh? uh, but it looked like something that you would twist your hands um, 
And, you know, like, I don't know how you say that, but when you, let's say you have a, yeah, let's say you have a, I don't know how you say that, doll player, doll player, somebody who is moving doll hands. I don't know how, how you, uh, in Slovenian, yeah. okay, no mimicker, maybe I don't Ah, what a crap. Now I did not found what I wanted to, okay. You know, when you would move hands and stuff. And the hands more or less would look like this. Like it, interesting, like at the beginning of this video, let's say when it all starts and uh, it's, it's, it's a doll from Bush they're using to demonstrate that there are other people pulling the strings behind him. Yeah. Nah, we don't want to do that stuff because they're gonna they're gonna claim the. No. Aha. Uh -huh, okay. Yeah. So that's basically when it all starts now. And you see this, like this, yeah. And it was like elephants. Uh, too bad, too damn bad I didn't take a picture of that. Maybe if I find that, I'm going to put this under this video. But it was something like this. And um, elephants and so on. And it was used during MK Ultra to signal me to do this video on this issue here that you see. And this is a Thai national emblem. Yeah, it doesn't... It doesn't look um, too damn good to me, to be honest. I'm not exactly a fan of uh, what you see right there. Um, but it's very unique. It's it's uh, it's just very very different, and I'm probably not a fan of it. Uh, it's not that, that that it would be bad. I I don't know how to see it. You know, I I'm not I, for you to properly see understand this. You have to be just Thailandese basically to see it. You know, the way you the way you so that you would know how to perceive this. You really I don't think anybody could possibly just have to be from there because I think they're a really special family and this is the culture a beautiful culture they share and this is just just what it is but you know I was a subject of MK Ultra and my circumstances I was surrounded by the people who were making to make impressions through uh, you know depicting themselves rather in a very very how can I say, very, very bad way, in, in, in the worst way possible. It was nothing other than, for the most part, maybe there was like 25% that was not. But for 75%, it was just the worst thing that can happen to you, that you possibly can imagine in your life that can happen. It was a nightmare. Or let's say just a trauma, yeah, a trauma, yeah. So... For me personally, after, ha, it must have been probably, God knows, a year, I don't know what year was it, maybe even 2015, but I would like to think probably 2013. So you're talking about a minimum of like 18 years of MK Ultra butchery. I don't want to call this torture because it's something else here. Uh, that went on, and 
18 years down into into this torture you know I, I frequently see you know various papers paperwork uh, King Bumibol a father of Maha well I mean, okay so King Bumibol he frequently I, I see him you know with 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 this kind of uh, uh, you know in every paper you know in every paper they have this symbol you know his son Maha you know uh, both kings basically they always had uh, whenever paper they held you know and, and it was not it was also by the Kitiapa uh, the same thing yeah, always document, you know, Thai document. Every Thai document had this kind of seal. Yeah, you see it right there. You know, like in the U.S. government, uh, you know, they have an eagle and so on. Uh, here they have eagle that looked like a little bit different, more like Thai eagle, you know, different, you know. But you can see, I saw this, and, you know, uh, ball was looking at me and uh you know he, he was he was king boomerball was looking at me he noticed me that i'm looking what he had in his hands you know and uh he, he was like i know he said it probably was 2013 he said to me he said you know i noticed yeah, yeah, it might have been actually before this. Might have been already in 2000, and uh, I have no idea, 2011 maybe, you know. It could have been 2011, maybe even 2010, I know, because offici officially he passed away in 2016. So um, he probably might have been even, maybe, maybe it was even 2010. Rather 2010 than 2013, absolutely not 2015. Very, very wrong. I know so because they continue to play with this. It was it was like a really, really funny thing to them. To them it was a funny thing, but to me it was not. Actually, the year was, I think, 2012 to be like completely, completely, like I calibrated my memory, about 2012. Uh, and... You know, he said, you know, I, I noticed you're, you're observing this. Are you, are you watching this? You know, he, he opened posts next to me. He had me next to, to, to him. And, and uh, you, know, you know, I see this, this sign again. You know, this sign. I see this sign. I saw this sign always from the beginning of the time I saw this sign, you know. Of this MK Ultra, you know, and and uh, it didn't make me nervous. It did not make me nervous, but here and there, it did make me nervous to the degree that I wanted to ask these people, "What is this? You know, what is this thing? What is this?" Because it didn't look like American Eagle or anything like this on a passport. You know, that kind of documents you get from the U.S. government, federal government, and so. You know, he was looking at me and he said, I noticed that you already are, that, that you observed me doing this. What are you looking at? You know, what are you, what are you looking at this document? He knew that I cannot even read the document unless, uh, you know, he would make me read the document. Yeah. He had to stimulate you to read something under MK Ultra, that's how it works, you know, and so to him it was strange because I was looking at his paper, holding him this paper, uh, and probably I didn't, uh, I, I have no idea what impression I made, I probably didn't make any impression, but I was looking into that stuff, and um, I think I was looking at it with a particular interest at that time, you know, so he, he no longer could afford to ignore this interest of mine, and he said, what are you looking at? And I said to him, um, he said, nah, he said, are, are you looking this sign, huh? don't you? Are you are you're looking this sign, don't you? You're looking this. I know what you're looking. Yeah, he said to his wife, I know it. Uh, it was the two were with me. And 
And I know, I know what you're looking at. I know what you're looking at. And she was like, he doesn't know what the fuck he's looking. But he was like, no, no, no. I know what he's looking at. I know what he's looking at. He's looking at the sign. A possible is also that the two did another session like this. So they notice something. And then what they do is they prepare themselves. Yeah. Both of these kings, King Maha, his son, and King Bumibol, uh, both of them had psychiatrists and psychologists always with them. Do you, do you understand? King Bumibol. King Bumibol. This is a father, right? And then you have a son, Ma. Yeah. It was not only them, you know. Uh, interesting, I find out. Uh, all of them, and uh, it's it's rather a virtue. Uh, they wanted to see me. Literally, uh, so that's why I also know that these people liked me. Uh, through the eyes of mental health professionals, they wanted to have certain things interpreted to them. They want these people to observe everything uh, when dealing with me and uh, vice versa, wherever they want to project to me, uh, they uh, consented with this psychiatrist on the side that would eventually even give them, uh, I'm going to say instructions, but a scenario through which they would then uh, accomplish whatever they wanted to accomplish. So I know that these people invested a lot of money. In, I mean, money is time, definitely, in me. I know this. And uh, it, it was just very, very... Uh, from beginning, it was all not so sophisticated stuff. Yeah, it became really, really, really sophisticated. With these people being a little bit childish, you know, rather childish, I think they're childish. I think that King Bumibor was actually childish. That, that uh, yeah. he was childish. He was childish. He was childish. He was very serious in the public and everything, but when he was with me, he was like a child. Very childish, actually. Very childish. I don't know how much he's going to take this, but um, he wanted to look like a pop a doctor, pop notch, top, I don't know what. But <laughs> um, and he was, he was really really there is a lot to admire about him you know he kept he kept slim he kept disciplined he kept uh he kept his things in line everything uh but but you know there were certain things he had but of course nobody's perfect and he handled his things pretty damn good like i said thailand is still doing better than all the countries in the area uh, which is something that neighbors have attributed rather to Western allies deliberately doing them harm and that kind of stuff. But the truth is that China alone uh, recognized that everybody is good is it has to do its best, you know, for everybody to. Um, you know, to help one another. You know, this is basically the way it works. 
you know, you you would, you know, if you could, you would change the world and everything. But, you know, sometimes and uh, things in Asia are moving forward, but sometimes there is a little time necessary to just do, to just accomplish something like this. This man did something very intelligent. For instance, uh, initiated uh, fisheries throughout the country with the idea to bring the Thailandese people as healthy and as strong as possible uh, so they could be competing with the world in respect to nutrition and uh, they would function, you know. Uh, I have no reason whatsoever to go after these people in any way. If I would, this would be really bad. Then uh, probably God would really curse me. It wouldn't be right. I would do them wrong, I feel. This is very deeply I analyze this stuff. Yeah. And one of the gods was this here. This 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 was one of the gods, is what King Bumi Boy told me. He said that this is a god, you know, this is a god. When I asked him, so what you're looking at? You're looking this, huh? Yeah, I said, yeah, yeah. And uh, I was full of tension. And he knew it. You know, I was loaded with attention on opportunity. You know, he could observe this probably. I remember the moment from the airplane. Me being like, uh, I don't know, meatball ready to explode. Just full of tension, staring at his paper, uh, maybe motionless, what I think, diplomatic, but still not happy about seeing that stuff. Uh, it might have been that might have been some bad MK Ultra session again for the British, for the Europeans, and so Americans. So I didn't like that stuff. Uh, I just didn't like this fucking thing here. And uh, he said to me that this is God, you know. And uh, I told him, oh, really, really, actually, really, really, I was super, super diplomatic. I was, I was not. He knew that 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 I have a very, very strong interest. He noticed it, but I was extremely, extremely diplomatic because once he started to drill with me, because I remember that moment so well. Uh, what? do you think about this what do you and i was like oh interesting you know it's it's interesting it's god huh? he said yes yes it's god it's god it's thai god you know really you know i was like really boy uh -huh, uh -huh, uh, thai god huh? uh i told him about where is this thai god you know where is this thai god and uh he, he was looking at me strange and uh, he said, this is, that's where his wife, Queen, stated, advised him, said, this, this is, this guy's crazy, I told you, he, he, he went and he went, he, he told her, stop, 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 just stop it. Uh, to him, this child in him, that was so much alive, you know, like I said, this is like a grown-up child, King Bumibol, very, very childish. Child was inside of him, but deadly serious on other occasions. Childish because he had this curiosity in him of the child. Uh, he was just uh, fascinated with me. He was just fascinated, I think, with this whole procedure, MK Ultra. I told you. From beginning when he was completely he knew nothing about what he was doing in 95 how this functioned 95 96 he just liked me simple he just liked me and for that matter i liked him uh and he became like really really very very he knew exactly how he made few mistakes but he learned from those to through the british royals through the andrew and charles advised him to get like a health professional a psychiatrist that is very well well that he knows his ins and out 
and uh, they had like a foreign psychiatrist, British or American, I don't know, that work with the two other psychiatrists, Thai psychiatrists, like beginning like 99, maybe, you know, 98. He started to train this too, yeah? In 98, in 99, he started to train two Thailandese royal psychiatrists. Uh, psychiatrists, top psychiatrists from Thailand that royals have chosen for this mission when they started to play with this, obviously, also in Thailand. Uh, and he was just curious, you know, why am I asking, you know, how, where is this guy, you know, where is this guy, where is this God, you know, God, he referred to him as a God, you know, where is this guy, this guy, this God was really, really interesting to me, you know, you can imagine why God like this was so, I bet you can imagine why the God like this was so interesting to me. You know, when it all started in 1995, first I was jailed in Italy. I was hijacked from United States of America by American Central Intelligence Agency, thrown inside of the prisons uh, throughout the Italy in Rome, Napoli area. Uh, I don't know what the fuck went on, but I realized that a prince... Kara Djordjevic, a Serb, because this Slovenia used to be part of greater Serbian Chetnik state, Yugoslavia, known as Yugoslavia before. Uh, he had enough influence to use British on behalf of uh, Vladimir Putin uh, with the idea to instill in me that Italian people are my enemies. Yeah, and so he was using British who used their connections to literally throw me for no fucking reason inside of Italian jails. To fucking imagine this British uh, in Italy because Italy invaded Slovenia in the past, because Germany invaded Slovenia in the past, and because I was in a very good relations with my co-workers on the ship aboard the cruise meridian i had italian friends i had the portuguese i had the spanish friends uh, i had friends from friends from all over the world people loved me and uh, the thing about it is that they didn't like it back home here in slovenia from where whenever I was hijacked by American Central Intelligence, and even before I assume American Central Intelligence hijacked me, but it couldn't be before because it was registered in Bahamas and they do have offices in the US. So it must have been CIA, not, a, not British MI5. Uh, British royals transported me, hijacked me, to the Balkans from the ship where I work over six in 95 to the occupied parts of Croatia where the Serbs were engaging in ethnic war. There were Serbs were enga engaging in a war on the Balkans against four other nations. They murdered, they killed the ethnically cleansed areas to populate them with the Serbs. Croats, Slovenians, uh, Bosnians, Kosovo people were uh, on the list to be exterminated for the greater Serbia. And so they would hijack me, even if they would hijack me to Slovenia, it was Milan Kuchan here, it was people like Tanja Fajon, Tanja Fajon, yeah, uh, Borut Pahor, that would have police of the Novomis to hijack me, transport me with the cars to occupy parts of Croatia, or Bosnia, literally in the front lines, in the ditches where the war went on. Uh, so to, I was thrown to the Chetniks, to the Serbs over there, who would use me to incite Serbian soldiers in, uh, I'm not going to say suicidal missions against the Croats and against the Bosnians, but it was beatings, it was torture to the degree that I would curse them out, I would never bend down, uh, even would want to physically confront them, that threatened I'm going to kill them all in those ditches, 
it was very, very, very bad stuff that went on with there insulting me on how I look, uh, strange and this and that, till they got the feedback from my end back to them. At the same time in Slovenia, Milan Kuchan, so this goes all parallel to the prisons in Italy, which I think the Prince Karadjordjevic, Alexander Karadjordjevic accomplished through the British royals. Uh, in Slovenia, I was thrown in front of the memorials of the partisans. Yeah, it was really, really strange because both sides of my family participated in national resistance against Italians and Germans. And I was told that I cursed national resistance heroes, Slovenes, whom memorials were dedicated to on my disagreement with their accusations. I'm talking about, this, again, local police here from Novo Mesto, police from Novo Mesto, using also local psychiatrists here, Sveto Gradišar, Sveto Gradišar, neighbor Miroslav Berger and so on, participated in this butcheries, again, beatings in front of the partisan memorials, uh, stated to me, but they also had the Russians, because the Russians told them, this is the technology we use in Russia already. You know, I remember that they had this kind of technology in the Russia, I, and I disagreed with them. I never said anything against them. Why would I say anything against them? Anyway, the beating went on, the silence went on, pushing back forth, spitting in me. And I didn't even know what the fuck went on. Why this? And it, they told me, because you went to America. And I said, but I didn't say anything to them. When they accused me that I said something to them, you know what they told me? But you will. But you will. And the spitting and beating and torture in front of the partisan memorials went so long till I actually, what they told me that I stated about the partisans, they would repeat that I did. I would told them, yeah, so fuck you and fuck them and so on and so forth. And they, what they did was they multiplied, they continued to torture till they got bigger and bigger and bigger effect from me. It was all video recorded and then distributed to certain locations, certain contacts through whom crime against me have multiplied throughout, especially neighboring villages right here at home in Slovenia where I was hijacked to from United States of America, practically, uh, before I even landed in the United States of America, from the ship registered in Bahamas, now go see where that is, Miami. Uh, and this shit went on uh, into greater and greater and greater multitude against me, uh, with my being one of the people who initiated Slovenian independence prior to departure to the United States of America. I was very self-national, self-aware individual as per Slovenian and would never give in any kind of Serbian concepts here for Slovenian people. And so these beatings, this torture, this spitting went on literally inside schools, such as for, let's say, Šmarješke Tuplice here, Šmarje Tareci, uh, from house to house, from house, pushing this, spitting, boom. You know, people did this for the jobs, for employment-wise, for all kinds of prof profits, real estate business, uh, financing of the private companies. That's the kind of stuff they did. And I was no good. I was just a Nazi and so on and so forth, which was becoming... Uh, once I was acknowledged as a Nazi, it was really becoming a real, nah, you can't become a real Nazi like this, but I started to become more and more angry individual to degree, foremost resentful, that I started to believe eventually that a Nazi Germany, for my being, for my being uh, rated as such, uh, eventually there must be some kind of place somewhere because they talked so much about this stuff 
that I kind of realized that these people are doing this to me because they fear something. This was the first thing, that you're doing to me something because you are afraid of something. And so these people are so afraid of something, and they are lying, and they are accusing me of something like this. I did not even know what the fuck to do. The madness was so big. The beatings, the torture. This here, basically. This. It was so big that I found the refuge in blocking my mind totally on reality. You understand? Of course, I'm not insane. Of course, I know that the war ended in 1945 with the defeat of Rim Berlin, Tokyo. I'm not crazy. I remember Germany and Italy were defeated together with Japan. Nazi Germany lost in 1945. I, I completely understood that. Now, but when you are sleep deprived and the beatings go on and on and on and on and on, you have to find your mental refuge somewhere or you will become, you will enter the state of mind which is known as an insanity. There are different types of insanity. Um, one sort of insanity, and that is the worst one I was afraid of. You see, I was a very powerful health professional, or through not registered as a health professional, already at age 23, because it was very difficult here in this Yugoslavia, in this greater Chetnik Serbian state where Slovenia was, the beatings, the torture started at my age four. And it was very bad. And I had to deal with the issues. However, it was the first time in my life that I have found myself in front of something that, in front of the obstacle that I said to myself that if I'm going to enter the state of mind that will could possibly end up in a complete lunacy, that possibly is going to end up in a it might be in losing the ability to actually control my mind in the future. Uh, therefore, entering some type of element that would disallow me to afterwards normalize myself, find myself again. Yes, this is what I am talking about when I said there are two types of insanities. Yeah? Uh, if I said to myself, if I enter that type of, you know, inability to find myself again, I will be destroyed eternally. Now, Milan Kuchan, Janus Dernoshek, yeah, it was a Janus Dernoshek, so this is a big vagabond, a criminal, a murderer who was to be selected as a, as a Yugoslav president, as a, Ser as a new Serbian president of the Yugoslavia, Slovenia, otherwise. These are the people that Poturch, and you have a Poturch, and you have all this so-called ex-communists from Yugoslavia, which has nothing to do with the communism, yeah? Uh, they, during the hijackings, demanded and attempted to uh, place me with the parents inside of the home, uh, inside of the building, which is situated next to the home for elderly people in the Novo Mesto and its facility dedicated to the people with the mental disabilities when I was hijacked to Slovenia in 1995. These people wanted to destroy me mentally to the degree that I would be completely mentally destroyed and then simply transferred from United States of America back to Slovenia. As a matter of fact, not even returned back to United States of America, but due to American delegation, which was here. Therefore, President Bill Clinton, American President Bill Clinton, under whom all this butchery started. Yeah, and you have entire U.S. Congress that would travel here. You have a lot of people uh, like Romney, let's say, like Mitt Romney, uh, a whole bunch of these politicians, yeah, Bachmann and so on, uh, Rick Perry and so on. Uh, too many to count. Uh, simply give a stamp, you know, uh, 
for the sake of good relations with Russia as my never even existing in the land of the United States of America. Do you understand me now? In other words, I was on the ship, Celebrity Cruise Lines, not registered as a resident in the United States of America or anything. Uh, they have a filthy, filthy, filthy plan. They pursued for the first two years, all through, uh, I disembarked in Miami, and I got into a relationship with uh, um, American citizen of Ecuadorian descent. She is a she, she is a real Indian, a Teresa Baquero from Quito, Ecuador. Uh, American government had intention to simply destroy me on behalf of British to the such mental degree that. I would not be even aware that I ever traveled to the United States of America or that I ever actually resided in the United States of America, and for which American U.S. immigration would simply give them the light. American U.S. immigration was involved since 95, since, I, since this stuff started, since I landed in Miami, in the USA. They had an agreement with the top U.S. government officials, Bill Clinton, that they were not even, they would be like, we don't know anything about this fucking guy. He never was in America. They did not, nothing in this, when it comes to passport and stuff like this, it would all disappear. All new stuff, issued everything, falsified. Nobody knows anything about this fucking guy. Where is this guy? This guy never exited United, uh, Slovenia. This guy was just, this is mentally disabled. He's over there in some fucking home here for mentally disabled people in Novo Mesto. Nobody knows about this guy. He was American immigration officer, black guy who told me, as I apply for American residence officially, he said to me, now, at this point, I can do nothing to you anymore as far as repatriating you without any trace of your stay in the United States of America. In other words, they would go, they would just let me pass like that I finished the contract on uh, this cruise line, aboard the ship cruise line, Meridian, Celebrity Cruises, uh, this six months. And it would be like I never, never even landed in the United States of America and try new life over there. Yeah, you understand? And that shit went on for like another year. Yeah. So that's how fucked up this start in the United States of America was. Yeah. So I'm just giving you a complete understanding of what you see right there in front of me, what exactly that was. But the situation was so fucking bad for me here in Slovenia. Uh, that's what the Milan Kucho did. Kuchko did this. Kucho. Kuchko did like this, that I, who was a total patriot of Slovenia, and Putin, who wanted to erase Slovenia, who preferably would kill everybody in Slovenia, nuke everybody in Slovenia out, until like year 98, 99. Uh, he did it in a, such a way that he managed to portray me, thanks to the British royals, they were so afraid to travel with me. Whenever they would deliver it to me, personally, they would smuggle me to the Rome. And whenever they would smuggle me out of the Rome with a the car, uh, they would never, ever go directly to Slovenia, but they would always go to the, to the back, straight to the London, sometimes at Paris, and sometimes maybe in some other location, from where then they would fly to Slovenia. Travel to Slovenia is what I'm trying to say, to cover the traces and to erase what they, the biggest crime they did in front of me and Italian politicians when they started to, to obtain the proofs against me. So talking about the Saxe Coburg, Gotha, Windsor, Battenberg, collecting the proofs for the KGB, they had an assignment to murder me by portraying me to Slovenian side as a traitor, by obtaining proofs from Italian side, 
yeah, I didn't have to say a fucking thing. All I had to do is basically was to sit in front of them and listen, British royals alone, how they gesture to Italian side that they are not going to let me just down like this. And they will be, in fact, in the future, uh, Italy in Slovenia. And if this is what I want, if that's what you want, and so on and so forth. Uh, this is a British royale. What they did with these tapes, they delivered this to the Kuchko. Um, and the one who was deserved for these tapes, who obtained these tapes, and how one became from the top shit in Slovenia, a hero, was Vladimir Putin. The one whom Milan Kuchko, Milan Kuchan accredited for the crime against me was no other than Vladimir Putin. All of a sudden, Vladimir Putin was a Slovenian top patriot. And I was a piece of shit. With the Slovenian politicians literally subjecting themselves, the so-called independence politicians, subjecting themselves literally to the British politics, like going out there and, present, and totally presenting themselves like a traitors. To Slovenia by getting involved directly in corruption scandals. Such was the story, I think, of what's his name, Pirnar or whatever, when a British, he went ahead and agreement with the British, have subjected himself to rather humiliation, uh, which involved some kind of corruption scandal and, and, and all kinds of stuff like this. Because, not exactly why, but because these were Udba people, these are, these are worse people than Milan Kuch. This is just a controlled opposition of the Milan Kuchan. Or I should say, Serbian dictator Milosevic, who believed that with a lot of, with a, with a, with a set of betrayal, with, with, you know, like you deliver a lot of punches, are going to crash down the whole Slovenian, basically assembled together again. Yugoslavia, from the north, Slovenia, from the south, Serbia, and between Croatia, that somehow they're going to melt down and destroy also Croatia by destroying spirit of Slovenian people, which is really shitty, by the way. Uh, is this is something disgusting I can really not relate to, uh, based on what I, I witnessed to you this. This is a witnessing. Uh, they believe they're going to assemble again Serbia, and the Slovenia is actually a mistake in that kind. So it was a knife from every side you would turn. Um, back to the beatings in Slovenia, it was so bad that I started to believe that somebody is going to avenge me. Uh, I just didn't know who the fuck is going to avenge me because I was betrayed from either side you would turn. And so, you know what? Because I was a Nazi and because I was going to say something that I didn't say to what psychiat Slovenian psychiatrist uh, Zoran Muja is a half Serb stated to me it's always a lunacy that wins it's not lunacy it's just a violence it's just a beating it's just endless torture through sleep deprivation that yes, it will win, and yes, you they get the statements through this kind of interrogation, yes, and they present one in whichever way the fuck they want, and they extort the people in whichever way the fuck they want through employment, through real estate, through business, and so on and so forth, or basically making people totally life impossible, unbearable, unemployed, psychiatric hospital, they destroyed a lot of people, Yes, I started to believe that Nazi Germany still exists. It's got to be somewhere by the will of God and it's going to come to revenge me. So this is how I became under MK Ultra a Nazi. In real time, I was married to the South American Indian from Ecuador. Um, a real Indian, like you go to 
uh, to Amazon or something like this. And here and there, I had a girlfriends from South America and even black and Chinese and so on and so forth did not fit a profile of any fucking Nazi from absolutely any point of view, from absolutely any aspect. It was only needed for Vladimir Vladimirovich Putin, Putan Putanovich, and Milan Kuchanovich Kuchko to, to jumpstart the massacre in Ukraine, which a Russian government started to play in 1995. They say for Milan Kuchan is a small man, but a big swine. But Slovenia is a tiny nation, but the biggest swine in the world. Before the Ukraine, it was a Chechnya that play, paid and paved the cost. For Slovenia, for Milan Kuchko Kuchanovic, it was a massacre that went right through me in Chechnya. Then it was time for Ukraine that you can see today what is going on. And for that matter, Slovenia doesn't know anything, doesn't remember anything, doesn't hear anything. Nobody knows anything. And the 30 years of my life is destroyed. And they make bloody sure that I would experience a lot of health issues. That they would basically bury me alive before the truth would come out. But it's a little bit late for Slovenia now, isn't it? So this here, this is the worst crime ever in the history of the humanity you witnessed. Though. And that's what kind of I resented King Bumibol because he did not understood anything about me. He really didn't understand anything. He's a good man, he's a great guy, but he had a totally different expectations from what were my needs, my reality basically dictated me. Hollywood got King Bumibol into MPI Ultra Game. This here, this movie here, the Hollywood uh, actor participated in MK Ultra, uh, and it's about some kind of a very, very sophisticated uh, physician and so on, uh, see uh, totally dedicated to the government individual, uh, a big deal which King Mahalon told me is going to have to be hit in Thailand because of you and because of this case and so on and so forth. King Bumibol is a very good man, but he did not understand any of what I stated right now, you know, so I feel that it's the right thing for him to understand the whole thing, because he's very patriotic, he fought for Thailand more than what they rated him, that he was like an anti-communist and stuff like this. It was really more of an issue that I stated to you earlier. This, if anybody, if any king ever, man, this individual displays a high degree of sanity when it comes to the communism. He just ruled as a market, a free market dictated in that part of the world, and for which this free market still dictates in this part of the world. The Thailandese know they came from China. Uh, that somehow their culture intermingled with Indian culture, with Hinduism, with Buddhism. Uh, and for that matter, they are a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and they're not, they're very proud of that. It's what they believe in definitely is true. A very interesting people make them different what makes them different and what i say is that you have to work together for the common good and yeah until till market dictates these types of uh, circumstances it's just this is how it goes whichever way violence uh, chaos in the country war 
tensions in the country don't really bring fortune uh, to economy, to the stuff that people need to stay alive. Yeah, so, you know, uh, he did not understood my case. He wanted me to look sophisticated. He wanted me to look and go and and uh, see myself in, in, in a stunt which Americans uh, advised him on how I could be, you know, promoted in the eyes of people uh, that I should do all sorts of things that would make me look like, uh, you know, like, wow, you know, uh, but he did this, but he did that. And so he somehow couldn't understand my situation, what my situation was, where the hell am I coming from, and the, the background of all this thing, how big this thing was. And so he rather reserved himself, put he them to a sanity, to the to the sanitary issues, to uh, do it yourself, repair, you know, like a practical stuff, you know, like the stuff that would be based on which you would deem somebody sane or crazy or insane or somebody that for whom you would say, okay, this one is worthy of my daughter. He's clean. He is shaved. He goes to job and so on. You get it? Well, this thing was just so much worse and bigger. Mr. MK Ultra never existed that you see on a video, uh, but I really subjected myself to espionage for the sake of SIA, not even on behalf of SIA sometimes, way beyond this guy that what you see right there. And it happened so also on behalf of Thailand. Uh, that he got confused about this whole thing to the degree that I, don't, I shouldn't say confused, he just had to play by what I stated a little earlier. I don't want to have nothing to do. I don't want to have nothing to do with, with against any of this royals, any of the Asians, not governments, not uh, uh, Myanmar communists, or I don't want to have against anybody anything, you understand? Because, because still I'm Eastern European, uh, we have certain issues. And it's this part of the world still had to struggle for what Europeans did to them in the past uh, to be somewhat competitive, to be somewhat become a potential for entire humanity, which I believe the world is going to benefit from. So this is this is completely out of the picture. <sighs> Seeing something like this definitely made a strong impression already many, many times before, but it was on that occasion in particular that I was, I became very, very interested about this guy. Yeah, it was some kind of session, and character session, that it was very, very bad. So it was something that they already noticed before in me, and they wanted to come to the bottom. However, I would not let out of my system. I, um, I was very careful with King Bumibol because King Bumibol, all through, I did not see one ever on a picture directly involved in torture. Uh, he did say, had some crazy stuff going on, you know, but not really. You know, he would observe from the side about what went on and so on and so forth, whatever. Um, I didn't trust him enough. So for me to say what I exactly feel about this thing. And so the King Bumibol then drilled me for another three days on this issue. What, you know, about this God, you know, which I wanted to know where this guy, where this guy is, you know, this God. Uh, where is this guy? So what, you're, what you are saying is here, what I'm basically saying is that when I demonstrated you a little bit earlier, this, yeah, this guy kind of looks like King Bumibol, doesn't he? That's how they, they trolled King Bumibol into this stuff here. Literally. 
with this actor being involved in MK Ultra. And I know King Bumi Bolna right now is not very happy, whatever, but this is just the way it is. Um, this case of mine, even the King Bumi Bol claimed that, that is that I'm no good and this and that. I it's, it's, it's so much so much bigger than that video, the the movie, the five minute story about MK Ultra Jet. Uh, I wouldn't even go into it. Uh, but here's the thing. Uh, King Bumiball just like his son extremely dedicated both extremely dedicated to Thai people wanted to make sure about a lot of issues in respect to my case basically what you know when I when I stated issues earlier was all kinds of issues they involved in it yeah so many issues many issues it became evident they started to suggest me they wanted to know uh, you know what you know what what is there to expect i mean what exactly your um you know one is dealing with you know um so i i'm sorry i, I i'm not precisely sure where exactly I, I i was a little earlier where i should continue this point i did lost here neat a little bit but i'm gonna wrap it up this video finish this to just say to you uh his son also tried to get the truth out of me from this about this character i'm gonna post below whatever sorry but i i just sometimes it's just like this and my computer doesn't allow me to go and stop and really court and this and that uh because it's a piece of equipment like this um i didn't trust anybody two weeks the two drilled me and they would get the fucking word out of me about only thing I wanted to know is uh, in a very, very pleasant way, you know, I act in a very, very pleasant way. Ah, I already know where exactly I was, yeah. Uh, about where this guy is, you know, he's God and uh, you know, what do you think about this guy, you know, about this God, you know. Well, you know, I was like, yeah, you know. God, you know, God, God, you know, they drill me under the church, you know, they want to get an impression about what I think about this guy, you know, well, interesting guy, man, I was deadly, deadly diplomatic, uh, many, many said that during MK Ultra and between the real time, you could not even, not between me, but comparing to other people, you could not see the difference because I was so diplomatic, drugged up, uh, when I had something, when I had when I set a goal under MK Ultra, I was uh, really unstoppable. I know more efficient probably than the people that were not drugged up. That's a very very strong statement to make. However, if I knew exactly what I wanted to accomplish, I got it done. I couldn't because I had my hands tied up, and they were making fool of me. But they understood just the capacities I had, and it's a lot of stuff. Still, they accomplish abroad, elsewhere, and so on. Yeah. So, that I wanted to know about this God. Where this God is. I entered exactly the same state of mind as this year, and for which I explained to you earlier in details how I felt, how I wanted to believe something that I already knew 100% was born in 1945 still exists because of the injustice that was done to me here in Slovenia. Exactly the same state of mind, but not exactly the same state of mind, because in Slovenia, I entered this state of mind, which I did not finish the issue from before. I went a little bit too deep. To preserve 
the inability to return. So this is these are two types of insanities. One is the one that you find yourself in a chaos, confusion, therefore, eternal hell. Uh, that's with a deeply deteriorated, deeply uh, damaged mental health to the degree that you can just not find peace, that you can just not collect yourself anymore together, and you have ability to rationally act. I'm not going to say behave, act, behave is very, very similar, but I would rather say use thinking patterns in a manner that would allow you to preserve uh, ability to efficiently uh, communicate, interchange, uh, make sense in this world, all right? I mean, this is what I'm trying to say, okay? That's all there is to it. And then that second part of insanity is when you alone voluntarily enter, which very few people know, but it was a very necessary part to save myself. That's how severe violence in Slovenia was, from Mr. Milan Kuchan. Enter the world, which no longer even exists, in this case, because uh, I was a Nazi, I was guilty of shit, I was going to say something against partisans, which I did not, but I will, but you will anyways, and this and that, eh? and, uh, you know, it's not insanity exactly eh? that always wins, but a violence is, right? If I fucking hit you once, is one thing, but if I hit you 50 times, is another, but if I hit you 200 times, is another, but if I beat you out 10,000 times, using 10,000 people to beat you up, is going to be different than if I use one, two, three, or five. Five days, or one year, or ten years, it doesn't make um, and this is exactly the state of mind I entered. In other words, during the beatings in Slovenia, I said, you know, I said to myself, to myself, I said, oh, I said, you know, okay, fuck you. Uh, I only told them, fuck you, I, I will come back here. And if I have to, I'm going to kill every one of you. I will, you, I will retaliate against you. I will, I will, I will hurt you. I will come back. I will hunt you with police, with this, with that, I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do. Uh, I death threatened Slovenes with a nuclear bombardment, with all kinds of stuff during that period. That's how bad it was. So the Putin was becoming more and more praised as a patriot, as a Slovenian patriot. He really found a big home here in Slovenia, a hug in this Slovenian pro-independence, such as Zmago Jelincic, for instance, here. Yeah. Smago Jelincic, you know, SNS, Slovenska Nacionalna Stranka. Uh, and Janes Janša uh, and other people which were completely indifferent, it appeared from one another when it came down really to reality that, that the swines were completely indifferent from one another. They all basically, it doesn't make difference who kills you. If it's left or right or whatever it is, you're dead one way or the other. And this is not how you present statehood inside of the Slovenian parliament uh, or in presidential palace or for that fucking matter on any embassy or anywhere, not even in a private house to make myself clear. So I entered voluntarily the state of mind and started to convince myself that in MK Ultra that there is still Nazi Germany that was not defeated somewhere. That still exists, that there is still a Nazi Germany, there's still Nazi army by eventually even asking people at Shmarieske to plead because I didn't understood a fucking thing they were talking to me. When they were, one guy was talking about the, uh, the Nazi Germany, that you're Nazi German, I didn't even understand. It was a big fucking confusion. And I said, but wait a minute. I said, but this was, wasn't this already defeated? Was it, this was already finished in 1945. These people never gave the answer, but the beating went on and on and on and on and on from one house to the other. 
and it was just like a never fucking ending story not only at memorials but from one village to the other village and across slovenia so the more of these biddings went on the less i understood the answers these people would not even give the answer was you didn't but you will because you went to america it was just they, they wouldn't even give the answers all because you went to america so gradually i started to believe that nazi germany actually the military and everything there's some portion of the land something that they still exist it's got to be something in this world that's going to come and punish this people this nation with whatever the god can bring about for them to pay their dues for such a crime in this case here however it was a very different situation it was not about any of that stuff but still i was watching what you see here for a very 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 long time and you have to you have to admit that it's quite impressive in a way and if you would be in the circumstances like this i'm not going to say that this stuff could just start to walk from the paper like you would see on some video movie or something cartoon or something like this but it, you would want to know who the, what the fuck this is this thing here because the stuff i have spoken to you about right now more than anything reminded of this right i mean more or less this creepy stuff you know what i mean so i wanted to know where the fuck is this guy this one here where do i get this guy he said that he's that he's a god. So I said, I want to fucking know about where this god is. But I didn't say like this. I was very, very, very diplomatic, you know, in very, very relaxed way, in as much as relaxed way I possibly could possibly be. Now I started to believe that these people know about something that, that that this guy might be somewhere that they might have this guy somewhere that there is a place with this guy that this guy actually could be somewhere and that this guy is just doing this shit to me this guy that this is the guy that looks like this is just doing something to me deliberately during mk ultra this is what i started to believe but I wouldn't say anything. Two weeks went by, still no information for me about this guy. What is this guy? Where, you know, where where would you meet this guy? You know, and so on. I tried to troll them, you know, to find out, to get the truth out of them. And the truth would not come out, yeah? So as much as I was very, very trustful with the King Boomy Boy, I would, I would, uh, I would trust him, you know, I would trust him, but I learned that this is a very sensitive issue, and I also learned that there were other occasions before when I expressed certain opinion or interest that he intercommunicated with another people, and in the end, because I was too trusted with him, because I was so honest to him, I somehow always paid the price. In other words, somehow I got fucked. I was always very trusty with, with King Bumibol, or with the King Maha, yeah? So, you know, I said to myself, because this issue to me during MKUltra is so big, and I still didn't get the answer on this issue, like, hey, you're talking about 12, like 17 years I was looking at this thing here, and I still didn't know what the fuck this is. They were teasing me, British were teasing me if I know where I am, just showing you this, he said you should know where you are and this and that. Uh, I would not want to explain why do I want to know, you know, and King Bumibol went ahead and he started to fuck with me. He said that, that he knows where he is, this guy, that there is a place where they have him, where he lives, but he's not going to tell me this and that. And I was like more and more curious about where the fuck is this guy? How would I meet this guy? I didn't see him as a god, really. Uh, he was British, Prince Andrew. Uh, they arrived like after like three weeks or a month. I was in Thailand. They had me in Thailand in 2012. And they arrived. And, uh, you know, he was so sneaky bastard. You know, this guy so bad, sneaky, sneaky individual. You have no fucking idea how 
murders this prince and really is. I mean, if I tell you about how it all ended with between me, between Italian government, between Slovenia and Milan Kucin, I should say Put Putin, Putin. Uh, in 2000, finally, the British started to travel directly with a car whenever having me on the back seat. In 1999, in 2000, first time directly to Slovenia from Rome. From Rome. In 2005, Angela Merkel told me that I have to tell whatever I told you right now about the Italy, about how Obviously, for due to beatings, due to torture that went on, uh, British and Italians contemplated on taking over Slovenia, or I will not even make it through. Uh, foreign politicians started to tell me about how I should tell this. However, I deemed that Slovenian side did not deserve from me. So to say, to hear absolutely anything about something I had nothing to do with it. I absolutely never in Italy stated anybody that I want Italian occupation in Slovenia. Never did this. And the second part is if they instigated in this stuff and they were doing this kind of stuff, what the fuck do I have to do with this? Nothing really. They got their statements whatever they got, but what I had to do with this, nothing really. Slovenian side did nothing really to, I'm not going to even say, assure my well-being, my safety. And the further, I consider British and Germans as my friends. I consider them as a friend. I considered British royals as uh, somebody who is siding with me. I considered them, uh, according to them, to the Charles and to the, to the Prince Andrew, I was their brother of the two. You, you understand? A brother. The, the two refer to me as a brother, as their brother. There was like a load of these British princesses and stuff that I should marry and this and that. And they always somehow married other men and so on. It was just a bullshit that went on for no less than 26 years that I stopped in year 2019 with a proofs that I posted on the internet, actually in 2018. And that's when the King Bumi Boy, uh, actually before this. You know. So I had no intention to go in any kinds of uh, communication, any kinds of stuff like this with absolutely anybody and have certain things during MK Ultra simply have come to the certain uh, maybe we will say even memorandums even certain conclusions dots on what we will implement and what we will not implement I had my own program going on too if I felt something like this it was like this if I felt like that it was like that but till I actually realized a bit late really but it really was a lot of stuff these people have done to me along the way for me to realize that germans and british and american side realized that already earlier in 2015 uh publicly uh acknowledged them um, more or less as an enemy still gave them a second chance for them to just take more and more and more advantage which they already started taking heavily against me in 2006 angela merkel stated me same as the british royals did forced repatriations with forced unemployment will end for you in slovenia and that's because that's what the country that extremely extremely impressive to us did more torture against you than any other country in your native Slovenia. That's why you have to go back to native Slovenia. Yeah. So, you know, in an element like this, I have no chances to collect any kind of proofs, right? You, you're basically designated, not destined, but designated to die in a system like this. So, 
a Prince Andrew after like a one month of this crap Thailand sneaky as he was in 2012 he did manage to learn from me the answer on why I wanted to visit this guy why I wanted to know this guy that King Bumibol knew and he also knew where he's staying he was teasing me man he was teasing me that he knows his house that he knows that he's like a like, like, like he lives in a in a fucking uh, cave you know that he has a cave and he has a fucking house and he would take me for a walk and he told me that now we are not too far from this guy and and, and that kind of shit why do you want to know this guy and so on you know king boomy ball like i tell you this guy was childish man <laughs> he he uh Curiosity, he wanted to, he, I don't know, you know, that's why I get the impression, not a good impression about this stuff, because, because, you know, uh, um, in a way, I, I feel that he was all the time looking forward to, uh, to have the best academic performance. He demanded the best academic performance from his granddaughter, Bairi Kitiaba, from his son, he was breaking balls, in other words, to the home environment, and yeah, he pushed himself obviously to a lot, he did, and he did manage to accomplish a very, very great understanding about the world, really, I mean, very, very capable guy, but still childish, you know, childish, you know, the fuck, I mean, he was drilling me around houses, and you know, telling me that you know, that we are almost there, you know, that he would take me there. Uh, we're just two houses, three houses away, but that he will not take me there until he knows why the fuck I want to meet this guy. Ha, so he never succeed in knowing, you know, why, why I wanted to meet this guy. Uh, but Prince Andrew got the answer for me, a really, really short answer in three words it was just because i wanted to kill him that's all i know it's not a very beautiful it's not a very romantic movie but this is mk ultra this is basically how it works uh a guy that you see right there for me to me uh was like um some presented to me in my mind like something that uh was trying to cause some kind of a panic you know what i mean like it's trying to to fucking panic you like to uh chaos you know chaotic shit and uh fear and scare fear mongering and stuff like this and so i wanted to go to his cave and finish him off something like this it was and i really 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 was very very motivated even after they told me that when you go inside of his cave whatever place you will most likely nobody survive there and so on and this and that but i was still very very persistent some some people would probably acknowledge my character under mk ultra when it came to this guy here even suicidal because you know obviously that i would not come out of the hole alive uh, or whatever the case it would be, I believe that I would, but that he wouldn't. Uh, I was willing to risk absolutely my life, anything in this world, to meet this guy and terminate him. So this might not be so finished, my uh, uh, fun to your story. It might not be a very romantic story. Some people even told me that I should not, under any circumstances, talk about this story. But then again, some people want to be on a big screen, see even seeing like this, uh, and they do push forward uh, stuff like this. And uh, to tell you the truth, This is his granddaughter.
without the stuff like this let me see if i can show you um you know it would be a very very long uh, trip to uh <laughs> slow death like complete complete uh disappearance of everything in one um no okay I'll probably not ITTF uh, of table tennis. How about this is the one I saw? It. This is very beautiful. Um, it was all kinds of stuff during MK Ultra. Uh, in any kind of elements, all kinds of issues were involved. So this is a uh, think Boomy Ball is a granddaughter which is trying to help young people in trouble by involving them in a sport, in a world of sports. Everybody here was involved in MK Ultra. That's why I'm, for instance, showing you this video. So that's why I was going to show you this video, and I feel that the least King Boomy Ball deserves uh, explanation. First, I was resented from the Thai people. Thai people learned everything about what went on. It was all about it was not only Thai people, it was other people. They resented me. My God, this is Thailand. It's a lot of Thailand and this and that. And da, 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 da. Uh, what you did and so on and so forth. And then they started to see this like in a little different way. The whole picture. Uh, so this story does have a happy ending. Hey, uh, the Thai people were simply outraged with my intentions uh, for their God. Uh, but it came out in the end that they were really, 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 really even more happy with me. Uh, because they came to conclusion that they would not want to have this kind of God. They would not want to have a, a God of fear, uh, of, of uh, chaos, of <laughs> what you... <laughs> Through my eyes, the way I saw it, you see, it does have a happy ending, anyways. And uh, I came to conclusion on my own after I realized I felt really, really bad about this whole thing, because my God, you know, they told me it's uh, after they, they told me this is God of Thailand and you want to kill our God and this and that, and this is how you are and so on. They teased me, you know. I told you, and this guy's like a child, this boomy boy. King Bumi Ball was very childish in a way, you know, he had his grandfather of Baira Kitia. Uh, he had his, you know, and his father, her father too. This is another adult child. Um, yeah, he's not going to be happy about this, I know. Oh, uh, here, this is what I'm going to show you. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it was again 
he came out as evident that the one who uh, make Thai people happy and uh, because all of a sudden the environment again shifted and the people became even more happy about me for unknown reason and I was like kind of fucking angry with me I mean look at I mean what the fuck I said about uh, this is your God and stuff like this and now I mean I, I, I was sure I'm done for eternity I mean, just like this you know I was sure that me and Thailand it's finished for me in Thailand forever and um, and then the Thailandese people started to convince me uh, no 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 together with the boomy ball that uh, this is exactly why they use this symbol like this they call me during MK Ultra uh, so that it would not be chaos and fear and stuff like this in Thailand so uh, again, it came to them as a, well. They accepted, uh, you know, MK Ultra uh, from maybe even without understanding more related, much more related to what nobody even knew back then. Nobody knew in 2012 what went on in Slovenia, what they were doing in Slovenia with me. To raise interest in me for such atrocious creatures as Adolf Hitler and Nazi Germany, long gone Nazi Germany, uh, and with which in a real time element I had nothing to do with it. I, I, I was not shy of the partisans, and I was not shy of the national resistance, and I was not shy of the uh, of females of other race, racial backgrounds. In fact, I was interested in marrying them and so on. And uh, in this movie, not if the King Bumi Ball can hear me. In this movie, you will not see me anywhere, I think. Uh, you will only see me maybe in a portion where espionage for Thailand. At least that's what I. Uh, but I think this is how King Maha advertised himself. You know, he presented me as a spy, uh, and so that he could come closer to Myanmar communists, which would meet inside of my room with the Chinese and with American delegation, and with King Maha and his father, and so on. This is Slovenia here in Slovenia novel man. So this is how big this case was. But yeah, the closest you ever came to me, much, much closer than in this video here that you see, in respect to what you see here, is exactly with this last part. The understanding basically what this case was all about. Thanks for watching this video. Who the hell? I didn't even know that is going to have a happy ending. Yeah, but well, they had to tell the whole story all the way to the end. Thanks for watching this video. Till next time.